Hello boys and girls and welcome to PJs and Pillows. Tonight's book is called Owl Moon. This is a winner, winner of the Caldecott Medal, a special award given to a very special book each year. The person who wrote the story is Jane Yolen and the fellow who drew all the pictures is named John Schoenherr. So let's take a look at Owl Moon. It was late one winter night, long past my bedtime, when Pa and I went owling. There was no wind, the trees stood still as giant statues, and the moon was so bright, the sky seemed to shine. Somewhere behind us, a train whistle blew, long and low, like a sad, sad song. I could hear it through the woolen cap Pa pulled down over my ears. A farm dog answered the train, and then a second dog joined in. They sang out, trains and dogs, for a real long time. And when their voices faded away, it was as quiet as a dream. We walked on toward the woods, Pa and I. Our feet crunched over the crisp snow, and little gray footprints followed us. Pa made a long shadow, but mine was short and round. I had to run after him every now and then to keep up, and my short round shadow bumped after me. But I never called out, if you go owling, you have to be quiet. That's what Pa always says. I had been waiting to go owling with Pa for a long, long time. We reached the line of the pine trees, black and pointy against the sky, and Pa held up his hand, stopped right where I was and waited. He looked up as if searching the stars, as if reading a map up there. The moon made his face into a silver mask. Then he called, hoo, 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 hoo. The sound of the great horned owl, Hoo, 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 hoo. Again he called out, and then again. Each call he was silent for a moment, and we both listened. But there was no answer. Pa shrugged and I shrugged. I was not disappointed. My brothers all said, sometimes there's an owl, and sometimes there isn't. We walked on. I could feel the cold as if someone's icy hand was palm down on my back and my nose and the tops of my cheeks felt cold and hot at the same time. But I never said a word. You go owling, you have to be quiet and make your own heat. We went into the woods. The shadows were the blackest things I had ever seen. They, strain, they stained the white snow. My mouth felt furry, for the scarf over it was wet and warm. I didn't ask what kinds of things hide behind black trees in the middle of the night. When you go owling, you have to be brave. We came to a clearing in the woods. The moon was high above us. It seemed to fit exactly over the center of the clearing and the snow below it was whiter than milk in a cereal bowl. I sighed and Pa held up his hand at the sound. I put my mittens over, my, the, over the scarf over my mouth and listened hard and Pa called, hoo, 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 hoo. I listened and I looked so hard my ears hurt and my eyes got cloudy with the cold. Pa raised his face to call out again, but before he could open his mouth, an echo came threading its way through the trees. Hoo, 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 hoo. Pa almost smiled, then called back. Hoo, 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 hoo. Just as if the owl 
we're talking about supper or the woods or the moon or the cold. I took my mitten off the scarf, off my mouth, and I almost smiled too. The owl's call came closer. From high up in the trees on the edge of the meadow, nothing in the meadow moved. All of a sudden, an owl shadow, part of a big tree shadow, lifted off and flew right over us. We watched silently with heat in our mouths, the heat of all those words we had not spoken. The shadow hooted again. Pa turned on his big flashlight and caught the owl just as it was landing on a branch. For one minute, three minutes, maybe even a hundred minutes, we stared at each other. Then the owl pumped its great wind wings and lifted off the branch like a shadow without sound. It flew back into the forest. Time to go home, Pa said to me. I knew then I could talk. I could even laugh out loud. But I was a shadow as we walked home. When you go out owling, you don't need words or warm or anything but hope. That's what Pa says, the kind of hope that flies on silent wings under a shining owl moon. That's the end of Owl Moon, so go brush your teeth, hug the people that you love, and have sweet dreams. Good night.